Good evening once again. There's a new twist tonight in the tug of war over the enforcement of Ruthie's Law. Now that's the law that requires all nursing homes in Erie County to contact a family member within two hours after a resident suffers an injury that requires hospital treatment. It is named after 82-year-old Ruth Murray, who died back in 2016 after she was beaten by another resident at the Emerald South Nursing Home. That's on Delaware Avenue here in Buffalo. But tonight, the owners of these eight nursing homes are suing to stop Erie County from enforcing this law. They include Elderwood in Amherst, Cheektowaga, Grand Island, Hamburg, Lancaster, and Williamsville, along with Schofield residents. Also, Williamsville Suburban Center for Rehab and Nursing. With more now, here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Madison Carter. We just reported a few weeks ago how only 19 of 35 nursing homes in Erie County are compliant with Ruthie's law. But now some of the 16 who are not in compliance are fighting back. Eight homes have filed a lawsuit in state Supreme Court. They claim Erie County is exceeding its authority and they want a judge to prevent the county from enforcing the law. The suit says it's up to the state health department to enforce any regulations and requirements of nursing homes, not the county. We spoke to county County lawmakers about the low compliance rate just a few weeks back. They say there's shared blame behind the lack of compliance. My goal is to get the county executive to take responsibility for the fact that his administration refuses to find nursing homes that aren't in compliance. You know, he stood up there at the podium when this law was passed, when he proposed it and said this was going to help seniors. He campaigned on this as a promise to help seniors and he's not following through on that promise. Hard questions need to be asked. Why are they not complying? The plaintiffs made clear they don't question the intentions of the law, but they say the county is exceeding its authority and calls the requirements for reports, quote, burdensome, costly, and inconsistent with existing state requirements. In a statement to 7 Eyewitness News, one of the plaintiffs, Elderwood Administrative Services, says there is already transparency, pointing to the state health department's website, which allows anyone to compare one nursing home to another. We reached out to the county executive's office, a representative for him says that they're not able to comment on ongoing litigation, but they do plan to defend Ruthie's law. In the newsroom tonight, Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News.